I want to do a video of the boiler installation I've been working on for the past month or so. Uh, it's two Well McLean uh, SF750s slim fits. Uh, they're sitting back to back. And they're piped in a first in, last out, you know, reverse return scenario. So the supply of the first boiler is the close one, closest one to the header. And the supply from the second boiler is the furthest one from the header. So therefore the return of the first boiler is the furthest away. And then the return of the second boiler is the closest. That ensures equal flow through both boilers. And this is all four inch pro press. We used eight inch venting because of the distance. These boilers can be vented in six inch, uh, but because of the distance, it goes through this wall and then through another room and then out. Um, so we had to up to eight inch uh, PVC. We've got a Y strainer to protect the pump and protect the boiler. And uh, we got a lockable gas valve here for code for servicing. Condensate pump for each boiler. These boilers, uh, they are the same model, uh, but Well McLean changed the color of the jacket. And unfortunately, we got one of the old ones and one of the new ones, so they don't match. Um, so the, uh, the supply comes out and feeds off to six different zones. So our copper, uh, transitions into the steel uh, pipe of each zone. Uh, this one in particular is five inch. There's some six inch, there's some four inch and some two inch of the different zones. Supply comes around here, elbows, and then we can pick up our other zones. Again, there's six of them in total. Um, and then on the return side, we've got a manifold here. We put our pumps on the return. Uh, that's where how they were with the old system. Uh, but then we also didn't have a lot of room on the supply side uh, to fit them. And, uh, you know, honestly, this is better for servicing. You can access the pumps nice and easy. Um, so we had a weld, uh, manifold welded up uh, with threadolettes. So we could pick up each pump. Of course, isolation valves for each pump and, uh, and drain valves for each zone. The return comes out and then comes back across the room. And then feeds back into our closely spaced T's. On the control side of it, the, uh, the boilers do outdoor reset, so we don't have to worry about that externally. Um, but we have a six zone, a Takeo SR six zone switching relay to operate each pump. So we've got thermostat wires coming in, operates each pump, and then uh, you know line voltage out to each pump and then we have a lockable disconnect to shut the zone off I'm sorry to shut off the boiler and the pump um, and again that's that's local code for servicing reasons so somebody can put a lock lock out uh, on the disconnect there for the condensate, we had to use um, 
condensate neutralizers because we are going into a cast iron drain and that also is a local code with a condensing boiler. I didn't have the room to fit the neutralizers um, on, the, on the pad before the pump. And so my concern was the pump, if I would have pumped the neutralizer in line, that that would have been too much resistance for the condensate pump. So I've got these two stand pipes here that go up to the ceiling and then our supplies or our discharges of our pumps uh, feed into that. So my theory there is if this is slow to drain, it's got that reserve that it can fill that standpipe up. Um, and we haven't had a problem. I have seen it back up only to about right here. And then out of the neutralizers and then down into the drain. I was going to use a condensate pump that has the neutralizer built into the reservoir. Uh, but they are a lower BTU rating than 750,000, like these are rated for. So I had to use the, uh, the Well McLean neutralizers. And then here is our ASME expansion tank. Uh, we got a service valve. We can take the handle off so that nobody can accidentally shut it off. Uh, we've got a union there. Should the tank need replaced or worked on and then a boiler drain to relieve the pressure off the tank if the charge needs to be adjusted or checked and that's about it except oh, we have the water feed so we're running this system at about 25 psi uh, we're about 30 psi here this is four stories we've got 50 pound relief valves so we've got a three-quarter fill uh, unions on each side so that can be easily replaced and a manual bypass and an rpz to protect the potable water we also have a weighted flow control one for each zone, and this Taco cast iron uh, air separator, air scoop with a Hoffman automatic air vent on the top. And that about does it. Thanks for watching.